Hello students, this is Dr. Praveen Jipathi, Faculty of Psychiatry and we are 2-3 days away from, away from the NEET PG examination and I just wanted to make a small video, short video and discuss about the things that might be helpful for you. So first thing first, how should you use these last 2-3 days? Now please remember, all this while when you were preparing, your main aim was to read as much as possible, to collect as much information as possible, to memorize as much as possible. But in these last 2-3 days, our main aim is not so much to you know have more information but to ensure that our stability remains there. We should not be doing anything which disturbs our stability, which disturbs our stable frame of mind or which makes us anxious. So keeping that thing in mind, I will advise that do not read anything new and the GTs, the grand test, I believe are a big no at this stage. See what happens is, say you take a grand test and see many grand tests are very difficult. All the grand tests available on the existing platforms, many of them are very difficult and you might be well prepared but you might end up doing very bad on one of these grand tests. And if that happens two days before the exam or three days before the examination, it is likely to have a very bad impact on your confidence. So at this point of time, taking GPs is not going to do any good but it may cause a lot of harm to your preparation. Again, please remember, our main aim should be to ensure that we are stable, we are not doing anything to disturb the stability of our mind. So, GTs are a big no. Again, trying to read something new is also not advisable. Because see, what might happen is you try reading something new and suddenly you realize that you don't know many of these, uh, many of the stuff and you get anxious and that would again be very bad for your preparation. What can you do? You can continue doing your revision if you have made made some notes or if you have read from a particular source just continue revising it or you can continue doing the PYQs the last three or four year PYQs of the NEED PG you can revise those also when you revise you will realize that you won't be able to remember everything there would be things that you have read a couple of weeks back or months back but you would find it difficult to remember and that's perfectly fine it happens with everybody. See MCQs are given in the exams like these for a reason. This is because they want to give you four options and you know even if you had read it once, two or three months back or four months back, you are likely to make a good guess. That is why they, they ask MCQs in the entrance examination and not the uh, fill in the blanks or short answer type questions are not asked. Right? Even if after seeing the MCQ, even after seeing the options, you are not able to recall few things, that's perfectly fine. This is not the time to judge your preparation. This is not the time to tell yourself that why am I not able to recall stuff. First of all, it's perfectly fine. It happens with everybody and you should not give it any kind of importance. Then comes the point of anxiety. Now my Instagram is full of messages where students are telling me that they are becoming very anxious. What to do? Why do we become anxious? We become anxious because certain thoughts go through, go through our mind. What are the thoughts that are going through your mind? Probably you are thinking like, what will happen in the exam? What if I don't clear the exam? Why am I not able to remember things? What if the whole year gets wasted? All these thoughts, all these thoughts lead to anxiety. And when you are anxious, these thoughts come more frequently in your mind. We have to take care of these thoughts, right? We can, we can take care of these thoughts in two ways. First of all, we can give ourselves good answers. If, if a thought comes in your mind, what if I do not get selected? Answer to yourself, I am not going to care about the results as of now. Let's go and take the exam. The thought comes, uh, why am I forgetting everything? Tell yourself, everybody forgets. There is no person in this entire world who can remember everything about the 19 subjects and I am not thinking about this. This is the one technique you can answer yourself in a more positive way and in a more logical or rational way. If you are getting too many thoughts, then you can use the thought block approach. What you do in thought block, if you are having a lot of thoughts, you are getting overwhelmed, just, just flick yourself in the wrist, right? And say stop. Thoughts coming, thoughts coming, you know that these thoughts are going to make you disturbed. Flick on the wrist and say uh, stop. Or just, you know, uh, hit the table and say stop. So basically the idea is you make a sound, you give your brain a stimulus and then say stop and then you try to stop this, break this chain of thought. If this is not working, what else can you do? Just, just you know, listen to some music and when you keep on listening to the music, the chances that the, the chain of thought gets interrupted becomes better. 
so this is important see we don't want to go into the exam in an anxious frame of mind at the same time some amount of anxiety is okay don't don't worry too much about it there is of course some amount of anxiety has to be there you are going for an important examination all right what next the sleep the elephant in the room sleep so see you should be sleeping as well as possible at least in these next two days uh try to sleep for 7 to 8 hours don't try to cut down on your sleep hours to study more if you think that you can cut the cut the sleep to 4 hours and use those additional 4 hours to study more that is going to backfire badly please ensure that you take 6 7 hours of sleep at least if you can take 8 hours nothing like that but at least 7 hours of sleep should be taken uh you should be well rested in case you are using any medications like Zol like zolpidem and all if you have been taking them if you if somebody has prescribed you those medications well and good zolpidem is usually a safe medication half life is less 5 5 and a half hours uh, does not really cause sedation the next day it's it's a, a good pill if somebody has prescribed you but if you have not used these pills i would strongly advise against using these pills uh on the night before the examination because you do not know how will your body react if you have never taken zolpidem don't take it before the exam uh, the night before the exam what if it makes you very sedated so you don't want to take that chance the night before the examination right don't do that also remember that the night before the examination is usually difficult uh, it's unlikely that you will get a 7 or 8 hour sleep if you can sleep for 7 to 8 hours congratulations you are gifted please do sleep for 7 to 8 hours but if you cannot even then it's okay see what what happens is we tend to become very anxious about the fact that we are not able to sleep and that anxiety further decreases the chances of us falling asleep please remember on the day of the examination the sympathetic arousal is so much that even if you had slept for 3 hours or 2 and a half hours or 4 hours even that should be okay i mean it's not desirable you should not uh, voluntarily or you should not deliberate deliberately cut down on your sleep time the night before the examination but even if that happens it's okay there's no nothing to freak about right so sleep is taken care of i strongly advise that please reach the examination center one hour or two hour before see we don't want to create any kind of uncertainty before the examination if you are getting late and you know that that uncertainty is there would i reach in time so that the that that whole process creates a lot of anxiety and you'll carry that anxiety in the paper also now let's talk about the paper itself once you are into the center once you have started the system once you have started uh, answering the question please remember in case you get two three questions in a row where you don't know the answer please do not panic it's an entrance examination it's you don't have to get a particular number of marks to get selected you have to be better than others if the test is difficult if the paper is difficult if the exam is difficult it is difficult for everybody in case you have three or four questions in a line where you don't know the answer it's okay probably nobody knows those are the difficult questions right do not panic in case you start getting thoughts in the mind that i don't know the answer i don't know the answer immediately respond back that it's perfectly fine nobody would know the answer to these questions i would be giving exam to the best of my capabilities i would not freak out i would not freak out repeat that thing to yourself multiple times positive self talk talk really helps even during the examination do not let the anxiety take over you right secondly even if the paper is difficult you have to give the paper with full efforts many a times what happens is even during the examination in the middle of the examination people give up they are like i would not not get selected there is no point putting effort let me mark anything and go back home why do you do so you want to avoid those one and a half or two hour of anxiety you don't like being in that that difficult you know pressure cooker situation where you are sitting in front of the computer screen and marking the answers but you have to tolerate it those 3 three and a half hours you have to give your best irrespective of how well prepared you are or how poorly prepared you are irrespective of how well the examination is going or how badly the examination is going those three and a half hours you have to ensure that you give your best effort finally dear students many a times in our lives we think that tomorrow is going to be the most important day of my life but life doesn't work that way there is no particular exam no single exam which can you know decide your life for you success failure you know all these big terms that we talk about they cannot be decided on the basis of a single examination so this examination is definitely important i hope you have prepared well and uh, but, but but please remember that even if you do 
badly in the examination. Let's imagine the worst case scenario. You do badly in the examination. What is the worst thing that can happen? Probably you would not get a great college. You can go to a mediocre college. Does not really make a difference later on. Probably you would not get the branch of your choice. Anyways, how many of us know the branch of our choice? I mean, we think that this is our favorite, preferred branch in MBBS. Later on, we realize that, thank God, we did not get into that branch. So you think that you know the branch that you like, but in all likelihood, that may change. So even if you don't go to, if you don't reach the best college, or even if you don't get the best branch, it does not really make much of a difference later on, right? So it's not life or death. It's, it's not that your life depends upon this examination. You are already a doctor. You are much better than almost 99.9% .9 of the country. And this is just another examination. What else have you done in your lives? I mean, you are doctors. What have you done? You have been studying throughout your life. And you have been taking examination throughout, the, throughout your life. This is one more examination. So while this examination is important, it's not life or death. And uh, stay calm. Uh, people say na, in the last key, go and get it, get it done, for ke aana, and this and that. See, all those things don't work. Your aim is to keep yourself as calm as possible in these two, three days and also on the day of the examination. Also remember, the examination is not life or death. Also remember that the way you conduct yourself in those three, three and a half hours is going to make a difference of 10 to 15 percentage. If you become too anxious, you will make silly mistakes, your marks will go down, your rank will go down. If you continue with the positive self-talk, if you keep on telling yourself that everything will be fine, if you keep telling yourself that even if the paper is not going so well, let me put my best effort, you would definitely get benefited. All the best students, may God bless you all and get selected and then message me, we will celebrate together. Bye-bye.